Have you ever wondered why some countries, despite having all the right ingredients for success, seem to be caught in a never-ending struggle? Argentina, with its fertile lands, abundant freshwater, and access to global markets, is a perfect example. At first glance, it seems like it should be thriving. But in reality, Argentina's story is one of missed opportunities, power struggles, and economic roller coasters that never quite reached the heights of prosperity. Today, we'll delve into the intricate tale of Argentina's long and painful decline. Argentina's struggle began in the early 20th century when it ranked as one of the world's wealthiest nations. But over the decades, it saw a perplexing decline in prosperity. Many pointed fingers at figures like Juan Domingo Perón, Argentina's charismatic president. However, the root causes of Argentina's problems ran deeper than one person's rule. Argentina's land distribution was a legacy of colonization, violence, and the prerogative of force. Land was the source of wealth, and those who held it wielded power. Vast estates called estancias were carved out by the politically well-connected, leading to a top-heavy system of proprietorship. By the 19th century, British investments started seeping into Argentina, monopolizing the country's railways and securing its dominance in exporting raw agricultural commodities. The estancieros, content with their profits from exports, had no incentive to invest in industrialization or diversification. Masses of immigrants poured into Argentina, becoming tenant farmers on the estancias. Excessive rents consumed their earnings, leaving little room for consumer demand that could have driven domestic manufacturing and industrialization. The Wall Street crash of 1929 and the subsequent Great Depression struck a massive blow to Argentina's export-dependent economy, leading to civil unrest. The rise of the Radical Party and a push for industrialization further disrupted the status quo, escalating tensions. Juan Domingo Perón's rise to power marked another shift in Argentina's trajectory. He sought to implement a cooperative government model, nationalizing railways, implementing export tariffs, and focusing on social welfare programs and industrial subsidies. However, geopolitical factors and exclusion from global aid programs undermined his efforts. The post-Peron era saw political instability and military coups. Argentina's economic decline continued, worsened by oil shocks, a collapsed Bretton Woods system, and the depletion of foreign exchange reserves. Desperation led to a series of currency devaluations, foreign debt accumulations, and the sale of state enterprises. The economy spiraled into a deep recession. In the 1990s, Argentina adopted the convertible peso, pegged to the US dollar. While this brought stability, it also left the nation vulnerable to economic shocks. Argentina's economic system collapsed in 2001, leading to riots, debt default, and political chaos. The nation went through a severe depression, one of the worst in its history. In the end, Argentina's 20th century story is a tale of missed opportunities, power struggles, and a failure to address the structural issues caused by its agrarian economic base. The pursuit of maintaining the status quo came at the cost of industrial development and progress. Argentina's long decline is a complex narrative, but it holds valuable lessons about the challenges of navigating economic development. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.